Hey, it's Dave Brown here, host of Now with Dave Brown on AMI. Check out this latest highlight from the show. Lay Down Your Heart is a documentary highlighting artist, actor, and playwright Niall McNeil. Niall lives with Down Syndrome and has spent years performing with Caravan Farms Theatre in British Columbia. Alex Smythe had a chance to chat with Niall and, and the director of the film, Mary Clements. Alex, hello again. Hello again, Dave. So, Alex, the focus of the film is Niall's life and career, but what's the bigger picture? Yeah, so it, it's really uh, kind of exploring how Niall really has built up his uh, kind of his his life and his career and, and relationships that he's really made along the way. So this film is produced by the National Film Board of Canada, and that's to say it really highlights Niall and that, that unique connection that he shares with, with everybody. And so as part of my interview with him and Marie, I, I really wanted to find out from Niall, like how he felt being able to share his story with all the audience. And this is what he had to say. My stories, starts the film, um, what I feel right now is um, I'm, I'm okay. Um, this, this film is actually got to it's just family is all about my family my family how it I'm trying to to build up with uh joy and happiness and a relationship alex mary clements is the director of the film what's her relationship to niall prior to the project well, Dave, it really depends who you ask on this situation, because okay. as, as you heard from Niall, he mentioned his family in, in what he means in in the context of this film is all the the actors and the other creatives he's worked with at the Caravan Farm Theater have literally become family in his mind. So Marie in this situation is his ex-wife. Um, he has sons that are older than him. He has uncles, like sisters, brothers, like it, it's, it's that kind of relationship relationship that he's built with them. But for Marie, she's worked with Niall for years at the uh, Caravan Farms. Uh, she's really worked with him on multiple projects other than this film. So she really wanted to highlight his unique view and, and outlook on the world. And this is what she had to say about why she wanted to be involved with Niall's story. Niall and I go back quite a while and uh, I've known him as a you know fellow artist and he's a multidisciplinary artist so I've seen a lot of his work and um and so we you know we've gone back and forth and he's seen a lot of my work and the thing that intrigues me the most about his work as an artist is that one he can work in different genres and two that he has this uh accessibility to um to his imagination that kind of uh, is able to blow out what you might expect. So it's always this kind of really alive uh, engagement with whatever he's doing, his art and, and people that work with him. And I think that's, you know, it's also extended to how he sees not just who he works with and the topics he's, you know, diving into, but also um, his relationships with us, you know, colleagues. Um, that have become, uh, you know, more grounded uh, in this relationship um, that that he kind of decides often, you know. Uh, so, for example, um, we're, you know, we're good friends, but we're also exes. And, uh, <laughs> and we worked on Lay Down Your Heart, and we worked on a short film of mine called Pilgrims together. And uh, we're constantly, you know, talking about stories and art and... Uh, and he has these kind of relationships with artists all across the country. Alex, go a little bit deeper on Niall's uh, unique conception of what constitutes family. Yeah, so it's I, I it takes a bit of time for you to really kind of understand the context of what is being said in, in his description of family within this film. Because at first when you, uh, it basically starts off within the first couple of minutes, you know, he's describing Marie, who's the director of Lay Down Your Heart, as his ex-wife. So you, you think, okay, well, you know, it's, I guess that's just the situation or the, the relationship. But then you start identifying, oh, well, you know, here's his son. It's like, well, wait a minute, his son 
appears to be quite a few years older than the Nile is. And, and then as slowly as more people are introduced, the story starts to broaden that you, you realize this family tree that he has constructed is one that is really born out of, of love and connection with the people he's worked with around him, all these members of Caravan Farm. So there, it, it seems quite literally to be over a dozen people that have been interwoven into his life in a really personal way and and now describes a bit deeper some of the connections that he has he has formed with some of the members of the caravan farm troop i can start by uh Leah marie's son uh stephen uh stephen's been a family uh it's been my friend uh for several years at the caravan farm um he's an actor there but he i he he directed the uh, ricky heaven family circus to steven so the rest of it is kind of uh a different ex-wife things like adeline chagall's one and marie's one so Alex, when you're talking about such a wide ranging uh, group of people that want to be captured in this documentary to tell the story, how did Marie go about capturing this idea of family? Yeah, it was very interesting because uh, she used the the construct of having conversations with Niall and having different people just talk and talk about their relationships and, and their connections and the history together. And that's really how this this film unfolds. It's all through conversation. It's, the setup is very simple. It's on a, a pretty much a full white backdrop um, scene in a, in a studio. And sometimes there's uh, bits of colorful art that's being kind of put up behind him that is art he has presented, but it's really, let you focus in on these conversations and and at first it starts with as you mentioned Stephen that's really the first uh, member of his family his son that you you meet in this conversation and then slowly as the film unfolds you meet more members of this family tree that he he has and in the background family tree quite literally is being drawn up and presented in the backdrop so it it, it really shows how he he views these the relationship that he has formed with members of this acting troupe and and how special it is to him and and you hear from them as well and how special Niall is for them and Marie kind of dives a bit deeper on how unique this is and and why it's so important to really focus and celebrate how Niall has really constructed these relationships one of the things Niall does uh, kind of extremely well is is he's a visual artist so I kind of found a way um, in through that and, and really looking, you know, as artists, we're always writing, we're always um, composing, we're always uh, painting, depending on what we do. But that's a constant thing that's, you know, that energy is always moving inside of us. So I really felt through his, his new kind of art form, visual art, we could kind of go into it. Um, but I also found um, just the sensibility of being able to understand that um, families uh, in a modern way are made up of those we choose. And I think uh, Nye has done such a, an amazing, um, I don't know, I was going to say job, but kind of, kind of an amazing part of his ability to create over decades is to collect family um, that are all different kinds of people from all different kinds of places. And I really felt it was, in, uh, you know, it's a good time to think about that in the world uh, when, you know, um, everything wants to separate us. Um, and I think most of us as humans kind of want to lean into each other and we want to be adopted and we want to be loved uh, like family. Alex, you mentioned this film was made in partnership, Lay Down Your Heart, with the National Film Board of Canada, who just do fantastic work. And what's really cool is if you want to stream this movie, you can go to nfb.ca and do it. Yeah, Dave, it's completely free. You just, as you say, go to the website, nfb.ca 
www.lowercase.ca, search Lay Down Your Heart, and you will find this film. It's available in audio described formats, word described uh, video, and it also has closed captioning as well. So it, it provides accessible formats for people to be able to uh, connect and engage with this film as well. So it's definitely worth something to, to check out if, if you want to learn more about Niall's unique take on family. Lay Down Your Heart nfb.ca awesome work there by uh, the folks involved in this film but also awesome work from the uh, folks done at the nfb uh, more broadly so nfb.ca be sure to check that one out do you want to dive into more conversations like this watch now with dave brown weekdays at 9 a.m eastern on ami tv or download the podcasts wherever you listen Do you want to dive into more conversations like this? Watch Now with Dave Brown weekdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on AMI-tv or download the podcasts wherever you listen.